Hello dear friends, I am Daisy Victoria. Today I will be showing you how I made this very strange medieval dress. I was inspired by a very eye-catching image my friend Katie discovered in a 14th century manuscript. The image accompanies a telling of the Holy Grail quest, and this lady specifically is featured during Sir Bor's portion of the tale. Yes, I figured that out by attempting to read old manuscript French, with very little success, but I also matched the known tale with images throughout the manuscript. The dress itself is allegorical, which means it did not exist in real life but was rather illustrated that way to tell a story. Well, fast forward several hundred years to when it actually does now exist in real life. I had my fabric printed at Spoonflower, and I made it available to all of you. So if you'd like to join me in having all eyes upon us, please follow the link in the description below. I had mine printed on linen cotton canvas. I found this reddish fabric, which is actually olefin, but mimics the look of wool, and I just needed a little bit for the undersleeves. Sometimes those sleeves are a whole dress worn underneath. But alas, it is far too warm for that at the event where I shall wear this, so I chose the option of separate sleeves. I used my existing sleeve pattern and basically cut off the top portion. I also rounded the bottom to create a silhouette which flares out onto the hand. For the trim, I'm using a gold twist cord that gives the effect illustrated in the manuscript. Due to the nature of this trim and my desired result, I am sewing it on by hand. You'll see later why that is so much.
sleeves look and fit great. With those knocked out, I can make the dress. You can get the PDF tutorial for this dress style in my shop by following the link in the description below. That will help you with the pattern diagrams, measurements, and a step-by-step -step sewing guide. For now, you can watch me cut out the front and back pieces, skirt gores, sleeves, and facings using my already drafted pattern. When using a patterned fabric, it is important to pay attention to the print and make sure the printed images are positioned where you want them, matched up, and so on. For this reason, I cut each piece individually, as opposed to folding the fabric and cutting multiple at once, and I spent several times my normal cutting time because I wanted it to look really good. I think it's well worth taking the extra time to make the final dress that much better. And trust me, I did have to remind myself of that as I sat here cutting for hours. I used my sewing machine for all of the inside seams of my dress, such as front, back, sides, gores, and sleeve insertion. Then I hand stitched everything visible from the outside. That meant hems of both sleeves and the full skirt, eyelets for lacing, and all that beautiful gold trim.
Before sewing the trim onto my dress, I measured and marked the placement using my disappearing fabric pen to make sure it would be even all the way around. I also created a video tutorial on how to sew these lacing eyelets, and you can find that prior video linked on my channel. This process takes a very long time, but I think it is so worthwhile to have the hand sewn eyelets, especially when they are visible front and center like this. I'm using a handmade finger loop cord to lace my dress, and I also have a video showing how to create a basic cord. Wow, we're starting to get a lot of resources around here. This dress took a fair bit of time, considering I'm usually fast at this style, because I wanted to slow down on some of the technical aspects and details. I really like this dress style, but honestly, I've made so many that sometimes it gets a little boring to just crank out another 14th century gown. This dress was very much not boring. I've already worn it for photos and feel so beautiful and confident in it. I love creating weird dresses and I'm so happy to have brought this to life. Add to that how much I love Arthurian legend and we have a really beloved project here. Check back later for a get ready with me and photo shoot feature if you want to watch me be silly in the wild. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe to my channel and consider supporting me on Patreon if you'd like extra goodies. I also have PDF tutorials to help you create your dream costumes and you can find me on the social medias. I look forward to seeing you again very soon.